Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys and as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. I of course have been pushing the sunny explosion thing for quite a bit. Other people haven't pushed it as much as I have but I want to see if I can if my videos can benefit a little bit uh, the person give, give some benefits to the person, although I'm tiny, of at least showing some positivity that is happening in the community overall. The ex Niji community in this case, uh, it's Sun Explosion showing the uh, old type, but the one that they had for 100,000k, 100,000k, 100,000 subscribers. It's the old type. Guess I've had this for a while, huh? I'll treat myself to a new version when I hit 200k. When suddenly at 994, thank you for the, uh, getting me close to a major milestone. See, they were able to get their play button before they even joined Niji Sanji, and now they're going to be able to get, you know, their second version of the play button. Uh, whatever the new one entails. I think it is, instead of having the, the old YouTube one, it just has, like, YouTube all in gray, I believe. Still, this is something that they got even before they joined Niji Sanji. Kind of roasting uh, Niji Sanji in what they do. Uh, not roasting the talents, because, you know, Kunai slash Sun Explosion is not the type of person to be uh, belittling any talents or being angry at any talents. It's just saying, look, I was able to grab this and you can too, kind of, I guess, uh, thanks to your community, if you wanted to. Do some shade to the fact she already had one before joining. Uh, maybe more like her making fun of the company. Isn't shade. This is dead ass casting a thunder upon Niji Sandy's building. Kind of, yeah. Uh, guess she asked. She definitely asked YouTube. She definitely did ask YouTube. I uh, love this how it's the legacy. Uh, this is a jab if I've ever seen one. Say it, Claude. Uh... Looking forward to the first October stream. Yes, she's going to be streaming in October. This is why I'm popping this stuff out. Kind of reminding people, not letting them forget that yes, Kunai graduated. But Kunai is now Sun Explosion. And they are going to be joining their community again very soon. Hades Mythos, who is a person who's part of Mythos, of course. And um, is, you know, this is them. They went to TwitchCon. They had a bit of a girl moment. And uh, people were taking it the wrong way. It says, it's honestly disgusting that I even feel the need to defend myself for what happened to me at TwitchCon. I did not A anybody. I'm stopping this narrative right now. Made a couple of tweets because I was unsure if me talking to people had made them uncomfortable, which I'll admit was me having a woman moment of just being insecure and not knowing if I was bothering anyone or they enjoyed talking to me. I've had those moments too, where I'm like, oh, I don't want to talk to people too much, or maybe I'm just talking too much. Maybe I'm talking their heads off and maybe they're uncomfortable with me talking their heads off. And that is a moment that I've had. Not a woman, but I've had that moment. But to accuse me of lying about something so serious to cover up A is, a, is vile. I've never claimed I 100% know what happened to me because I did not get tested. They are someone also who went through the uh, drinks being uh, tampered with. Yeah, if you know, there was a big thing. I talked about it. The drinks being tampered with was a big issue. It happened to Enuki. It happened to en Enuki or whatever you want to call her. Uh, or uh, Hades happened to several people in there. Several people talked about knowing that something had been altered because of the way that they were feeling. Why didn't I get tested? Because I live in Canada, waiting to apply for my permanent residency, and I do not have American health insurance, and I do not physically have the money in my account to pay for a hospital visit, and I cannot afford to be in debt. That is the American health system. I'm not going to get involved with that. I'm not going to talk about that, but I feel that. I feel that so much. I spent years of not going to doctors because of the cost of going to doctors over here in the U.S., also, why didn't I call the cops? I was already at our BNB by the time I really noticed something was wrong. I only had two vodka cranberries. I felt sick at the bar, then proceeded to still feel bad four hours later. I still, I've never ever been in a situation like that before. It was scary. Obviously being in the mental state I was in, was not able to think 100% straight. So I'm sorry if I didn't follow the guidebook to being drugged. We did, however, contact the bar, talk to security, and had them look at the footage to investigate. But yeah, F you if you seriously believe I would lie to A anybody. And this is is personal for me too. I have been had that happen to me where it is it hap it, it is uh you know the, the drink spike is put in there. You feel start feeling bad almost right away. You start feeling bad within like maybe 10 20 minutes it's just it's it, it acts quick and you know something's wrong because like if you just have one or two drinks and you're used to having like me at that time i was used to having maybe like 10 or more drinks before i started feeling uh you know a little bit tipsy there i immediately felt dizzy felt really really nauseous felt really really bad like headaches and everything hit me right at once 
I was in a bad situation. It hit me that way. I don't know if it hits everybody that way. It hit me that way. Luckily, I had a designated driver that got me the hell out of there. And I got the heck out of there, but I was suffering for the whole night. And the next day, I still had some after effects of it. It is not fun. It is not. It makes you feel very, very vulnerable. It makes you feel very, very unsafe. Like you can't feel, you can't feel safe in the place where you used to think you were safe before, where you think you had control. Control was taken away from you. And the fact that you know that someone did that in order to victimize you in the future, like in the near future, is very scary. Even as a guy, it is very scary. So I can absolutely empathize and sympathize with, with the way Hades was feeling. This is my last tweet about the situation. I do not want to drag it out. And I want to move on from such a scary experience. Uh, Wild Spice says, sorry, Hades, I'm glad you're OK after all that happened. And I hope the situation never repeats itself. Everyone who was affected is OK, too. As far as I know, everyone is. I'm glad that they're OK. I am really glad that they're OK. And like I said, I can absolutely sympathize and empathize with the situation. The VTuber world outside of Nidhi Sanji is healing, which is always a wonderful thing to see, a wonderful thing to experience, a wonderful thing to behold, whatever you want to call it, it's a wonderful thing. Why? Because it brings, it allows for uh, the community itself to heal, to grow, and to have positive experiences with each other. And in this case, uh, Spanish-speaking VTuber scene had their own equivalent of Doki, Doki Bird Mint reunion. The reunion was uh, Spanish-speaking VTuber Ivy Lovencraft held her birthday stream and one of her guests was Ruby Runehart of Idol ES. Officially, this was their first time they were together on a stream. Here is the stream that happened. And um, this is them chatting. This is both of them, of course, Idol ES at the bottom right, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, the person that they were talking about, the one that, that, you know, they had their first official meeting is this one here. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who are you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> first time officially meeting. Isashiuri. No nos conocemos. No nos conocemos. <laughs> So that's that's very cool. In reality, while they joked about this being the first meeting, the truth is they had a long history together as demonstrated by the emotional tears of happiness they shared while talking. The short version is that they debuted together at the Mexican VTuber agency Sedai One in October 2022, and both would graduate in September of 2023. Sedai One was another black company, although not as bad as Wachter. Ivy returned to streaming as a PNG tuber in January, while Ruby debuted as Idol ES in May. Fans of Ruby's past life had to endure eight long months while she was only able to use perso their personal Twitter account, like Kamigu, Dear Skewn, although Kamigu was only needed for five months. Uh, and now they show up on stream together for the first time, although it wasn't much of a surprise as Mint and Russell tubers since they inter interacted a few times before on Twitter. So they had some interactions on Twitter, but this was their both communities finally getting a chance to talk to each other, to you know be able to hang out with each other, to be able to do stuff and see each other. And this is great. Is Ruby Brave Group now since they buy, bought Idol? Yes. Yes, the only member of Idol ES that is leaving Idol and Brave Group is Meika. From what I've gathered from watching her a lot, Ruby dreams and goals are things that she needs an agency to accomplish realistically. More concretely, she wanted a 3D model and Brave is going to give her one since she stayed. So Brave gave a little bit of a benefit for people who stayed. For those who don't know, Brave Group did buy Idol and all of their agencies below them. JP, ES, all that kind of stuff. And they gave the, the people the chance to leave with a one year, con basically a one year revenue share instead of them outright buying their their models in order to keep them. So Rin Penrose and others are able to keep them when they're leaving. They have to just have a do a one year revenue share of whatever they get. They share revenue. That split is up to them, but they can share that. They can do that. And that way they can keep their stuff. So Brave Group did good there. I'm glad that they were able to contact each other. I'm glad that it's not like how Niji Sanji does the damn things and, you know, tries to prevent people or the communities like don't talk to them or anything like that. You know, luckily they were able to see each other again and have good times. Wit Studio, W-I-T Studio is a specific studio that has right now done a character illustration for uh, Mori. Character designer Naoto Hasuda has created an illustration for Mori Calliope or Calliope, whatever you want to call her, uh, who helped us with the ending song Go Getters for Isekai Squad. So the person, the character designer for Isekai Suicide Squad is the one who did this for them. Thank you for the wonderful music. Today, the collaboration goods Mori Zakura will be released in Japan. Congratulations, Mori. And of course, Mori, uh, Wit Studio is the one who did uh, the uh, Shikonoko, I believe as well. And they also did the Isekai uh, Suicide Squad. And Mori Sakura is something coming out here, which is this here. It is a Sakura Sake brand. Hanimachi Monogatari has collaborated with Hololive Production to begin pre-order sales of the Cherry Blossom Petal Infused Sake Mori Sakura Gold Leaf. The Mori Sakura Ichirinka exclusively Binos Entertainment Xmail Order Anti Box. It's a Cherry Blossom Petal Infused Sake 
with a label featuring the original illustrations by popular VTuber Mori Calliope and the available for pre-order limited quantities. Basically, uh, Lamy did one like this, not specifically with them, I don't think, but Lamy has her own sake, her own plum wine as well, uh, has her own things there. And it says from 1400 Wednesday, September 25th to 2100 Sunday, October 6th, you can do a special space inspired by Mori Zakura. We're displaying actual Mori Zakura uh, products as well as original drinks. Uh, in uh, the Annie box area, the special page, and of course, uh, merchandise reservation order period, September 25th to October 31st. So basically a whole month. And of course, let me just show you this. This is all to celebrate all this stuff. This is the Mori Zakura. Uh, that character illustration I showed in the beginning is all to celebrate this popping out. It's going to be her own sake with, of course, uh, other merch involved with it. So this is amazing for her. It's an amazing thing for anybody when they, when they get something like that for themselves. And, uh, of course, they get a merch cut higher than when a Sanji would give their talents, which is what I had to put out there. And uh, Mori says, that's very nice. Thank you. It's beautiful. So she got this for them, like, to buy them, and uh, also the announcement of her wine at the same time, because it was a perfect time to do both. So congratulations for Mori, I once again, having amazing things happening with them. Situation Hololive. It is another event from Hololive Production, a fun day out series. Uh... It's a theme, a fun day out. Situation Hall Live new products are on sale. And here we go. It's a fun day out. And of course, I'm switching it from JP to English because luckily this, this site lets you do that. So it says after payment confirmation, your order will be shipped within seven business days for addresses within Japan. 15 business days for addresses outside of Japan. You have the acrylic stands, the usual stuff, the photo time keychain, a Marine and Lamy. You have the keychain here uh, where you can put your photo with Lamy in that, I believe so. Then you have the, of course, the but the clear folders, which are cool, and the button badge, which is always nice. And the pouch, of course, the front, the, the pouch that you can have. I used to love these pouches when I was little, when I was younger. I used to love these pouches. Um, they, were, they tended to be quote unquote girly, but the pencil pouches are things I actually use because I'm really bad at organizing my own stuff and I would always get shit lost. So I always use the pencil pouch. Um, they may have called me a nerd or whatever, but me with my disorganized self, you know, being autistic, ADHD, and all that other kind of stuff combined, I had a lot of that, those issues and I needed to make sure that I was at least going to have things organized at the very least at the very least the pain of paying is big the pain of paying for all these things is big no monies means no none of these but I'm glad that they had they give the, the option for others outside of Japan to also buy them, which is why I'm letting you guys know you can go to Hollow Life shop and then you can see all that plus anything else that's still on sale anime impulse is uh pushing forward and of course having also some Hollow Life people, along with Nidhi Sanji and others. Uh, these two guests from Hollow Life TV have some tricks up their sleeves for Anime Expo. Who? So what it'll be? Trick or treat? You can kind of get a feeling of who they are. Uh, the one on the left looks like Kachama. The one on the right looks like Shiori. Uh, just based on the colors, I, I mean, it could be Muna. It could very easily be Muna because Muna's also uh, that color. You know, also has that color there, the, the purplish. But that looks more like a Shiori type of purple. Muna is like a little bit of brighter purple, if that makes any sense. And uh, Wickedly Wonderful. And yes, we do have... Akai Hato and Shiori Novella. Sassy, Kohai, and Archiver are teaming up for Anime Impulse BA 2024. We are hyped to uh, welcome these two Hall Life TV talents for a special guest appearance at 10 12. And here you go, Akai Hato and Shiori Novella. You have them right here. Both are going to be showing their faces. Not well, I mean, their YouTube, their VTuber faces. They're showing themselves at this wonderful place. You know, it's going to be chaos. As the Rainbow Burger uh, stream showed between both of them, uh, Hachama and Shiori Novella are pretty much two peas in a pod and they are very 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 much the same meet and greet details uh meet and greet sessions will be based on lottery each meet and greet will be 85 dollars for three minutes limited to one person per talent akai hato and shiori novella uh 926 and it'll start at 12 p.m the raffle and tickets drop at 12 p.m pdt for the same day for a panel that they're both gonna have like i said they're both gonna have both things and that's gonna be the interesting part about it we'll see how all that goes for any of you who are wondering about some Hollow Life and wanted to actually get it in uh, magazine form? We have Hollow News EN, Hollow News, a weekly Hollow Life news Twitter page. And they did one on the gamer maid, which is Aqua, who recently, as of last month, graduated and said goodbye to everybody. She fully graduated, no longer affiliated with Hollow Life. And here you can see their their special. You can see everything here, Aqua channel, everything that they've done from beginning to end. 
every big thing that they've gone through, all the changes that they've gone through, the trivia, the different uh, looks that she has, the everything, everything. So if you wanted to know everything, you even has some video related stuff for the graduation line here that you can take a look at in GIF format and or GIF or whatever you want to call it. They're doing the Lord's work, so to speak. They're doing a lot of excellent work. And it's a fitting goodbye to someone like Aqua, who was a big person in the VTuber community in J J Japan and was a big person in Hollow Life. Very early on, she was in there. So that's why it was a, a heartfelt thing to see them go. And they are now on their journey, whatever journey that was and whatever reasons they had. There is there was no bitterness, like in the sense of bitter arguments between her and Hollow Life. It was just two different paths that they that weren't going in the same direction anymore. And that was pretty much. It. So here is a little bit of that for you. Tokyo Game Show is a big event as you already know a lot of you may know if you're in the gaming scene tokyo game show is a big event for gaming in japan it is basically like the old ones that used to, e3 and things like that that used to happen over here that's what it is over there it's still going strong unlike e3 over here we have ichijo ridika ichijo ridika from regloss doing a challenge from level five ichigo ridika from regloss mayu yoshioka and Dice K. Look, take a closer look at the latest information on these three titles along with gameplay. This is uh, the three titles that they're going to be talking about. It's my guess. It's going to be kind of like a panel is what I'm thinking. And um, Ridika responded saying that, uh, oh, no, I'm getting really nervous. I can I can do it, Ridika Chan. Uh, you can do it. Mm. And just basically is trying to, you know, hype herself up for this and make sure that she does a good job because it's always nerve wracking being a part of any panel. I've been a part of panels as like a small VTuber and a small YouTuber back in the day, but uh, nothing really huge. And it's still very, very nerve wracking to be a part of anything interviewed or whatever. It's really, really nerve wracking. So I wish her the best and I wish success to the Tokyo Game Show as well. A former Niji Sanji talent who is uh, now, as we know them as Doki, used to be Selene. You know, the whole reason I'm talking about Niji Sanji as much as I do is because of what happened to Selene and what happened to Zion. Never forget what happened to both of them. They were both mistreated by the company and so have many others because as they've left, we've we heard again and again that they were felt like they were made to feel like they weren't marketable and such. Look at the quote unquote unmarketable person or she thought she was unmarketable because Niji Sanji made her feel that way. Uh, Doki Bird is collabing now with content creators in Mario Party Superstar. Cannot wait to see what she will do when Super Mario Party Jamboree drops October 17th, about three weeks left. She's doing a crossover with uh, Chilled, Il Elam and Saikuno. So big names, big names, big IRL names, of course. But it's amazing period that she's doing this stuff. It says, I hope she plays with Bray Navarez, uh, Navarez Jr. at some point. The new Mario Party seems like it's going to be big when it comes to collabs. Also, Doki playing Chilled is actually insane to me as a fan of both. I actually wanted to post this exact same post, but I didn't know if people actually know who Chilled is. Is this the second time she's been one degree of separation from Ray? Just a pair of one brain cell gamers laughing their asses off at their own jokes. It'd be glorious. Lethal's probably the best option for that meeting. It's good new to, to meet new people game because it's so silly and i'm glad she's doing this i'm glad this is happening it's always good whether you're in niji sanji or not like i'm happy when rosami does great things i'm happy when uh when scarlet does great things when other people who have positivity behind them do great things i'm happy whether they're in niji sanji or not it's just whoever it is siri vt is now has 7k people followers on uh on here yes uh on twitter and it says i could never imagine a girl like this i'm so incredibly thankful for each and every one of you your support means everything to me also i'm finally home and out of the hospital since seven hours ago so it feels even sweeter to celebrate with all of you and what else have they been doing during this time they've also mentioned that this they have a belly dancing freaking thing they can actually belly dance which is freaking crazy um i've never actually seen a a actual belly dancing uh toggle which i'm assuming this is a toggle I'm assuming this is a toggle because I don't know of any uh, mocap that can do the 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 the, uh, the hip moving thing unless it's like professional mocap. And if they're streaming, I don't think it's professional mocap. So they stream on Twitch. And uh, if you ask, you shall receive. Yes, this is uh, them doing that. And that's insane. And of course, they also have, you know, their full model here, which is awesome, honestly. And finally here. Yep, this is this is just a toggle. This is a toggle. Yes, you can still do body tracking while dancing. Series model includes both the Anka dance 
and the Betty Dance with two speed options, be sure to join her stream and enjoy the performance. So she has the Anka Dance here and then the Belly Dance afterwards. Uh, so that's the Anka Dance and this is the slow Belly Dance and this is the faster Belly Dance. So that takes a lot. That takes a lot of like bone structure movement and whatever in I Life 2D. Uh, the riggers who can do this are amazing in and of themselves. So congratulations to them and to the rigger and to City for actually having, being able to have that and have that. Tokyo Game Show is currently going and Kason is currently there. Two days ago, as of the recording of this, September 27th, we have her saying that she is the Tokyo Game Show starting tomorrow. Be standing at the Sega Yakuza 8 Gaiden photo booth on the 26th and the 28th. And here they are. It's the it's uh Ryuga Gotoko is Minato Ward girls appear in the photo spot for Yakuza 8 Gaiden. Uh Pirates in Hawaii corner at TGS Tokyo Game Show 2024. In addition, the live hostesses who appeared in Tokyo Game Show 2023 last year will be appearing as part of the Pirate Crew this year. And here you have them. All the ones who were the hostesses of the bar this year were there, case on at the very far right. Who's the person I'm talking about? Of course, everyone there, amazing. They did an amazing job at Yakuza 8. And here we have them. Let's go, former hostess pirate gang. And, uh, you know, this is the wonderful moment she had at Tokyo Game Show. And everyone is, you know, giving the, her a high five and celebrating her being there. I'm sure a lot of people took pictures because a lot of people know who Kason is to begin with. A lot of people already know who she is. So she's probably getting a lot of fame there as she deserves it for being part of Yakuza 8, which, if you don't know Kason, was a dream of hers to be part of a Yakuza game. And I think she was also on Yakuza Infinite Wealth as well as a character in there, an NPC. And um, all that stuff made it so that she finally got that dream come true. And I'm very proud of her and very happy that she was able to get that. Welcome back everybody to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to showcase small upcoming new VTubers out here in the wild. This is a brand new VTuber just showed up in this September 2024. Showing the good stuff, showing some fun stuff, showing some uh, some of their, their chops out here. It is Nuru Nuru Kozimiku, a Gyaru Slime Girl VTuber, uh, Power Skater, VS Battles, DEI, Gamergate coverage, all that kind of stuff. So let's take a look at their stuff. Concord, uh, Slime Girls, uh, things like that. So they're they're kind of doing more um, reactionary to, to DEI, to Sweet Baby Inc., to Concord, to all that kind of stuff. So if you want someone that's going more on that end, then of course take a look at it. And they are doing rather well for themselves for being 46 subscribers to have some going to 1k views. That is a lot. That is a lot to mention there. And of course, this is me trying to go and help other VTubers who are in the space who maybe aren't getting, you know, as visible because it's really overcrowded in the space. I love to give back and push forward the positivity and the community aspect of this community here, the VTuber community. So take a look at any of their things. Anything's popping up here. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Next IP to be Ruined, other things like that popping out and just take a look. And of course, thank you so much, Nuru, for being a part of the VTuber Showcase. And I hope this brings new eyes that may not have seen your content before, but now can see it. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.